Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed coffee from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. How do we access the voice of God? What are the many ways? That the bible teaches what is one of them number three supernatural encounters number four are you ready now one of the ways that god leads us in principle is through counsel from authorities especially spiritual authorities please write it down counsel you can access the leadings of god by opening up yourself to receive counsel from spiritual authorities fathers mentors elders men with results and experience they all form part of this group and they have earned the right to be able to give counsel proverbs chapter 1 from verse 1 follow me patiently as we read the proverb of solomon the son of david king of israel verse 2 it says to know wisdom and instruction to perceive the words of understanding three to receive the instruction of wisdom justice and judgment and equity verse four to give subtlety to the simple and to the young man knowledge and discretion that is the intent of the book of proverbs now it says the wise man will hear and increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels verse six to understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. Seven, it says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Eight, my son, a father is speaking to a son now, hear the instruction of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. Is someone learning? Verse 9, for they shall be an ornament of grace unto your head and chains about your neck. That means they will bring you honor. My son, if sinners entice thee, this is counsel coming from a father, consent thou not. Next verse. If they say, come with us, let us lay wait for blood. Let us lock privily for the innocent without cause. This is a young man naively exploring life and destiny and the father is saying these are the options you will find on the way when you see these options manifest remember the counsel of a father he said consent thou not 12 let us swallow them up alive as the grave and whole as those that go down to the pit we shall find all precious substance and we shall fill our houses with spoil 14 cast in thy lot among us let us all have one purse 15 now we're reading to 19 he says my son walk not thou in the way with them god is speaking to a son through the wisdom of authority refrain thy foot from their path he says verse 16 for their feet run to do evil and make haste to shed blood 17 surely in vain is the net spread in the sight of any bird do you know what that means when you put a a, um, a what they call it a net a bird has had access to a higher altitude and it can see he's saying one who is open to counsel is like a bird that is higher than the limitation that put that that the devil the trap that he puts for you verse 18 and they lay wait for their own blood and lock privily for their own lives the last verse now 19 it says so are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain which taketh away the life of the owners thereof counsel from a father to his son this is my counsel to you as you sojourn you are going to meet this and that and that options but every time you are presented with these options, the Lord is speaking to you through my voice. Can I tell you, many people have been saved from disaster because of counsel. Counsel is powerful 
counsel is powerful there is nobody who should ever outgrow the need to be counseled are we together again this is where the pride of a generation comes in and then what the bible calls vain glory we feel because i have achieved this and that and that we are not open to counsel counsel is very very important every time i have the honor of meeting any of our fathers of faith or anybody who has accomplished something that i consider to be a voice or a stakeholder in my life i listen very carefully i ask intelligent questions and my heart is opened to receive to hear what they say even if i don't exactly see things that way at least i give it a listening ear oh do ministry this way do this this way okay i listen albeit i will go to god in prayer but i i, I respect results when i hear counsel from spiritual authorities when you are open to receive counsel then you will access the leadings of god sometimes god will not come directly it may not be through a dream it may be through one wise counsel gentlemen the way you are doing ministry you are not going to get credibility this way and you will not rise take away this take away that do ministry with integrity this is how it is done I remember a gentleman who came and met me and this guy had posters as if he was coming out for election I said what is this he said I'm beginning a ministry I said from nowhere my brother come let me save you pain what in the world is this that's not how we do ministry you just come out from nowhere and carry posters and keep giving people by the roadside and believe that you will do ministry no that's not how it is done and I showed him from scripture that when God leads people he leads them step by step and he gives them territories little by little he said lest you occupy an empty territory that you do not have the capacity to feel you see that when God moves people he moves people by growth little by little you will see a young man that has never bought a bicycle he just comes and apostle I saw a Range Rover somewhere I know God is a God of speed speed is not foolishness you go gradually do you know what it means to maintain a car at that level how much do you have see this is how and men of God we have to be wise and help people don't just pray about everything because they say you should pray about it can be a chance to give them wisdom hallelujah one time a gentleman met me, not, not in Abuja, and he said he wanted to use a particular stadium for a program. And I just laughed. I said, wow, what a powerful zeal and revelation. But you are about to pay the price. Most likely you will be in the prison. Most likely. I can already plot the graph of the pathway of that foolishness because he will most likely borrow money. He will most likely meet liars. He will not even know which organization. He does not even have the influence to confront the authorities that will give him access to the use of the place. So most likely, it's not prophecy. Most likely, just by the pathway of wisdom, you can know that that gentleman is about to destroy his ministry. Apostle, I know what I saw. Yes. Respect what you saw, but bring it to the table of counsel. Counsel is powerful. Let me tell you. I used to criticize men of God years ago when I started, not, not in a sarcastic way, but I just used to talk, you know, the zeal of trying to establish doctrine. It was an old woman that came one time after listening to me, she just called me and said, listen, my son, you are going very far. And by the time you start talking about men of God, you have not gotten to their level to know the challenges and the pressures that they have. So manage this with wisdom. That was a big deliverance in my life big deliverance you will never hear me talk out of sarcasm i may challenge wrong doctrines but my honor for the body of christ for authority for men and women of god is one of the greatest key that has opened my credibility across the body of christ because of one counsel is god speaking to someone you may be running around trying to meet prophets whereas your own mother carries the wisdom of the ancient you have not sat down to say mama i know you're a ceo flying across the world but could it be one counsel mama can give you she didn't go to school i know but the wisdom of god resides with her is someone learning open up yourself for counsel 
and when you are listening to people who have results counseling you even if you don't agree keep quiet respect and honor their speakings you can go back and cross check and edit like the Berean but at the point never sit with someone who has results and be discussing as colleagues it is foolishness please hear what I'm telling you don't say I'm a doctor we are all doctors you just graduated you are yet to get a job this man has been a professor of medicine for 23 years maybe before you were born as I, you know, I, I, there's something I need, and the person is watching you. When great people keep quiet and watch you, start praying because it means that they have seen that there's no hope talking to you again. I hope someone is getting wisdom in church. Listen to what I'm telling you. For some of you, you have ignored an opportunity to rise because when you sit down with the great you sit down with pride and arrogance let me hear you know let me tell you this i don't claim i know so much but it is stupid for you to say i don't know anything no there are many people i talk with in ministry and the rest and sometimes i'm speaking with them this person does not have any results and yet you see the person just talking you are suffering doors are not opening you think all it takes to ministry is preaching good luck <laughs> a mediocre world is very small you can go around it in a moment and not see a need to expand your mind are we together counsel for someone you need to write a list of all the things that are not working in your life and trust God for grace why is my business not working I've been in ministry I'm a person of integrity and I love the Lord don't just say pray for me I know if you declare one word all the trouble your foolishness just goes with one word you need counsel it took you years to build that kind of mindset what makes you believe one prophetic declare declaration will just take away losing you, there are wrong relationships you need to cut away from there is a reorientation and an approach to life and ministry and business you need to learn the law of honor there are many things you need to learn what makes you believe one prophetic prayer will just magically take you there no some of you have had access to great people and you abused it because of foolishness you need more than prayer you need counseling I'm hard tonight, ba. Sorry, oh, but listen, listen. It's from a heart of love. This is what should happen in the body of Christ. I am one believer who believes in translating spirituality to a context that improves your life, where you can go back and bring results, results that are potent, results that work. For someone, you may need to call someone and say, I'm so sorry. I, I downplayed your counsel in spite of the results that you have given my sincere apologies even if you do not agree with great men do not fight them respect their opinions you can live quietly are we together now years ago a man came to me and he wanted me to pray and um, it was about a financial issue because his children he was not able to pay for their their needs and he was getting frustrated and he said apostle you, you need to help me and I was trying to explain to him and I said no 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 and then he made a statement he said you don't know what it means to pay the school fees of two children then I looked at him with pity mixed with honor <laughs> if two children are giving you this kind of headache and you see somebody leading a ministry like this and you are saying to you you don't know what it means to pay the school fees of two children <laughs> there is nothing sustainable that is by luck just have that at the back of your mind you can have short-term success by luck but there is nothing sustainable that is by luck. Believe me. 
Maybe God is speaking to a politician here. You are about to start and someone has been in politics. Even if the person has not succeeded, he has failed enough to be able to help you. Respect failure as much as you respect success. In fact, fear people who have not failed. They are too, they are too innocent to counsel you. There is a requisite level of failure you must carry as a badge to balance your understanding in counseling people. Believe me, anybody who comes to you with 100 over 100 is still a child in the school of success. There, there is a requisite scar that gives you a balanced perspective. Have you failed enough to be able to talk to me? Don't tell me all the stories. I just prayed and the person was healed. I just spoke and they gave me an auditorium. You are not the person to counsel me. I respect you. Carry your results until you learn the other side of life. My goodness, there are people that have failed enough and they can talk to you. When they talk to you, they utter from their pain. Their pain has been turned to wisdom. Every sentence is a life lesson. When you find failures who have become successful, respect them beyond the results you see. A man who tells you, I came to Abuja here and for five years I did ministry wrongly. I met false prophets. I dabbled my hands into so many things. But thank God today I'm walking in integrity. Sit down quietly with a notebook and learn how to do ministry right. A woman who tells you, I have been barren for 10 years. Now God gave me three sets of twins. Forget the twins and learn wisdom. Don't just respect crowns, respect scars. The wise respect both scars and crowns. Can I encourage someone? Your failure is still an asset. Don't throw it, archive it. It will be one of the qualifiers for your speaking to people tomorrow. Ah, God is speaking to someone tonight. Help that woman, please. Apostle, I have cried. I have failed in life. I know what it means to be an irresponsible father. Don't throw that experience. Archive it. One day you will use from that wisdom and mentor an arrogant young man who thinks life is so easy. Most times when we are starting out in life, because of the leverage of prayer, the prophetic, or generally life just playing games with you. You can believe life is so easy and you are wondering, so why are people crying like this? I just got married and three months has been so rosy. In fact, my wife is the best thing that has happened to me. And you go online and embarrass yourself. And someone who has been married for 15 years, he said, may God help you. <laughs> After two years, you just turn and start saying, life is unpredictable. All these this unwise things that people do. But thou, O oh Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, you lift my head. for someone do not just respect those who have succeeded alone respect those who have failed not everybody fails respect those who have failed failure is an asset when you can turn it to power Paul said let no man trouble me it is not only anointing that I have there are scars man of God that you failed in ministry and came here and sat down now I know men will laugh at you and say you don't have results don't worry 
there is a story through your pain that only you can give there is a time that destiny will make a roll call where are those who have failed come forward and you will be the only one to be able to stand and come out because your failure has earned you a place in destiny you know what it means to be attacked you know what it means to be barren you know what it means to do ministry for one year without anybody sowing into your life gentlemen don't just look for those who live in mansions go and look for mama and let her teach you the secret of happiness in a hut there is something you need to learn because the money you think will come from the mansion you will be surprised you don't know the depression and the drugs that surround those mansions sometimes you need to learn from both a king but you need to learn from the slave that is in his palace there is something the slave can tell you that even the king does not know the slave is the one who cleans the palace he knows what he has seen there my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory the lifter up of my head he's my glory the lifter up of my head you are my glory the lifter up of my head that will be somebody's song that you're my glory the lifter up Mama, you may be struggling with four children and none of them seems to have been great. Let them laugh at you. There is a story only you can tell. Continue being diligent, training the children. Let the naysayers keep gossiping. Shame on her. Four children, nobody rising. Don't worry. Let them celebrate their success while you celebrate the art of turning failure to success. will the Lord speak to a young virgin through an angel and says Mary you are highly favored and the next thing that follows that woman is pain controversy there was nothing in the life of Mary that I have seen that looked like favor an angel comes from heaven and says you are highly favored I would expect the king to call her and say I had a dream there is free land for you as soon as Jesus is born you become tax-free that sounds to me like favor so God calls car favor he calls controversy favor he calls pain favor why would you say a woman is high ah, God is speaking to someone don't listen you may cry but don't be embarrassed about your failures again there is glory through the sky there is something about the speaking of God, Ba, that until you are at your lowest moment, there is something about the voice of God you cannot hear. There is, there is a pain requirement to hear certain things about God. Tonight's message is very deep. For some of you, you really will not understand it this night. You are too innocent. You have been shielded by the sacrifices of others. You may not really understand this. There is a pain requirement that brings out the clarity and the purity of the voice of God. There is a way a man of God fails and fails and fails in ministry that he goes back and he says, Lord, teach me. When he writes a book about the leadership of the spirit, read it. That pain has purified any flesh and the need to make a name. It's gone. That is the reason why when people go through things and they come out of it, they usually come out with an anointing. Barring for 16 years, laughed at by people, 
as she gets triplets it's not only children she got the day she speaks over you she will terminate barrenness in a moment because every time she sees you like the high priest she's touched with the feelings of your infirmity let me tell you the truth you see many of you see today that i pray for people and i'm just speaking and you see the power of god it's not only prayer and anointing no there is a pain requirement that has reached down to the bowels of power and has drawn genuine authentic spiritual power when i see oppression i know because i have been oppressed counsel 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 is someone hearing you may need to humble yourself seek counsel godly counsel not on wise counsel sit down there has to be a way about my life speak to me God speak to me speak to me ministry has to work this thing between me and my wife we are beating ourselves every day and then everybody will enter his room personally and pray in tongues it shouldn't be like that where there is new wine there is new power there is new freedom the kingdom is here i lay down my own place to carry first time we had our crusade we were owing we were not much things did not go well I knew it was a process but I said Lord we cannot do ministry this way no I don't want to live a life where you are preaching and you are owing you are in trouble many people are, are dying right now there are many preachers that cannot stand on stage and preach people just fall down and die like that because of a pile of problems and I said I don't want to have to manipulate people I am going to encounter a lot of wealthy and influential people why do I have to change my sermons because I want to attract favor there has to be a way through desire a man having separated himself please hear me for someone right now what you are hearing from me is not just a preacher it is pain giving you counsel man of god the way you are doing ministry you are only going to end up in jealousy and pain and you will join the queue of frustrated people and you will think everybody went to collect charm from a herbalist retrace your step and go back through the power and the dignity of kingdom integrity dig that well and find treasures that last are we learning this is more than preaching tonight oh this is the spirit of god speaking to you there are many of you you need to stop what you're doing now stop that business stop that contract whatever just stop and seek counsel because your continuing it is about to reschedule another season of pain listen to me time does not turn ignorance to knowledge time does not turn pain to joy you must bridge time with wisdom. Are we together? Seek counsel. I thought I had God, but the five areas I thought I had God, none of them has produced the result that I want. I think I need to go back and find out. I may be missing something about hearing God. I thought God said I should start ministry. But I started and it looks like it's not God. Let me go back again. Three days before Koinonia would start in Abuja here, I was still on a retreat. Re-verifying again. God, please, is it you? Look beyond my humanity and let me hear from you again. If it is not you, I will cancel it. Let's finish up. So number four, counsel from spiritual authorities. Number five.
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media. Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressor feta pule kapas from that day. The creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because.